assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss frequency measurement using ic 74c 926 in the last video we saw ic 74c 926 details learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe frequency measurement using ic 74c 926 contents we will see first the block diagram of frequency measurement then we will see the timing diagram of uh, frequency measurement scheme and finally we will see time base and control signal generation which is required for the ic 74c926 let us see the block diagram of frequency measurement here this is what ic 74c926 and its associated uh, displays there are uh, four seven segment displays which are driven by these four transistors and controlled by these lines a b c d since this is a multiplex uh, display system here we are giving latch enable input to the counter reset input to the counter also clock input to the counter is given and here we have tied display select to the ground when display select is connected to ground the latch data in the counters will be displayed here so let us see how to measure the unknown frequency unknown frequency is applied here which is given to the a block called as a input interface wherein the input frequency signal unknown frequency signal is uh, converted into the appropriate signal levels by using this input interface and then it is given to one of the input of and gate and the other input of and gate is coming from this uh, time based output we can say 1 megahertz is divided by a count value so such that we get 1 hertz here put of this uh, 1 hertz is given to the flip flop and this when it is uh, given to the flip flop it comes out to be uh, 0.5 hertz that means the on period will be 1 second off period will be 1 second whereas in 1 hertz signal on period will be 0.5 second and off period will be 0.5 second this is input frequency is give, given to the clock input of the 74c926 for exactly 1 second that means we get the input frequency in hertz so here this and gate is used for getting this uh, unknown frequency input signal and this un unknown frequency input signal is passed exactly for 1 second and whatever count we get at the output of this display will be the frequency in hertz because we know the frequency means cycles per seconds so since these uh, cycles or unknown frequency signal is uh, fed to the clock input of 74c926 exactly for 1 second directly whatever we get here is a frequency in hertz so this way in the frequency measurement what is important here is this uh, obtaining one second on period this one second on period is obtained by using this uh, one megahertz crystal oscillator then it is divided by a frequency divider network such that we will get 1 hertz here this 1 hertz is passed through the flip flop and we get uh, 0.5 hertz so 0.5 hertz means can on period 1 second off period this is what uh, the counting of pulses unknown pulses here another very important is time base and counter control signal generation is needed from this 1 hertz signal we generate the latch enable input 
exactly after one second, so that whatever the count value available here will be latched after one second. And after that, the counter is reset for next operation. So, this way we can uh, count a frequency of unknown signal. It is better understood by the timing diagram of frequency measurement. Here we see this is a TBO means time based output signal which is uh, uh, 1 hertz actually, but on period is 0.5 second, off period is 0.5 second, total period is 1 second. So, this is 1 cycle, this is 1 cycle and in 1 cycle on is 0.5 second, off is 0.5 second, but we require on to be 1 second for frequency measurement. That is why flip-flop is connected at the output of TBO and this flip-flop output will be now exactly 1 second delay. That means, the signal will be high exactly for 1 second. So, one of the input of AND gate will be high for 1 second and unknown frequency is uh, given to another input of AND gate which is passed through this. So, what this counter will count is number of these unknown frequency pulses for 1 second. So, what we get is uh, frequency in hertz at the end of 1 second. That is why this latch enable signal is activated at the end of 1 second. After latching the data, the counter is uh, prepared for the next measurement cycle by resetting the counter after the data is latched. So, after latch enable is uh, made active, after that immediately reset is also activated uh, which is necessary for next measurement cycle. So, here we have a question, what value flip-flop divides the frequency? You pause the video and answer the question. The question was, by what value the flip-flop divides the input frequency? Naturally, the flip-flop is a, a toggle flip-flop is used and whenever there is a transition either positive transition or negative transition at this if the flip-flop is negative edge triggered at every negative edge transition there will be a change in the output. So, the output frequency will be half of the input frequency if uh, it is passed through the flip-flop. Now, let us see the time base and counter control signal generation. Here for this we are using a uh, JK flip-flop here. This is a JK flip-flop IC74C76. Uh, then uh, another two 74C221. These are uh, mono uh, monostable multivibrators. Two monostable multivibrators we need. One for the latch enable output and another for the reset output. So, here from TBO we get a clock that is applied here. So, at the output what we get is a 0.5 hertz signal. That signal is given to the as usual to the and one of the input of AND gate and another input of AND gate is uh, connected to unknown frequency after uh, uh, input interface. Then it is given to the X input. X input means uh, uh, the clock input of the 74C926. Now, here it is very important that how we generate the counter control signals, one second pulse is over for negative edge transition, this uh, high and it will remain high for some time which is based on registers and capacitors used for designing this monostable multivibrator. So, this at the Y output we get a latch enable control signal and after this time period is over. Uh, so, as soon as this uh, becomes low to high, this monostable multivibrator starts its counting and we get here Z output for uh, some predetermined time high uh, depends upon the registers and capacitors used in this uh, network. 
references. Here, electronic system designed by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech publication Satara, this is the book used for a reference and another uh, website is used for uh, uh, preparing this is this one. Thank you very much.